In the 1490s, Spanish plant collectors introduced the pineapple to Europe. I would have loved to have been a fly on the wall when they came back and tried to explain that this bizarre spiky looking fruit was actually sweet and delicious. This fascinating fruit is native to southern Brazil and Paraguay where it was domesticated and then spread through Central America, Mexico and the West Indies centuries before its European discovery by the Spanish. There are a few things that you might not know about the pineapple, including that it's easier to grow, either for its fruit or just as an ornamental. Now first off, the pineapple, true name Ananus camosus, is actually a bromeliad. It's related to those weird and wonderful plants often grown as ornamentals. Pineapples grow best in the warmer regions, subtropical to tropical, but they can grow in temperate areas. However, they do hate frost and extended cold weather below 5 degrees Celsius or 40 degrees Fahrenheit. They like sun to part shade. A rough rule is the hotter your zone, the more afternoon shade. The cooler the zone, the more sun. If you're in a cooler zone, you can still grow them. Just do it in pots so you can move them around to follow the sun and the warmth. Then as it starts to get cold, Bring them into somewhere like a sheltered warm balcony that's really nice and sunny but free from frost. If you've got a really nice sunny spot indoors like a conservatory, you can even move them inside. They are pretty tolerant of soil types but aim for something free draining as they don't like staying wet and if you're growing them in pots, use a premium potting mix and don't put a saucer underneath. Pineapple plants can be very dry tolerant once they're established. I do like to keep mine well mulched just to keep that little bit of extra moisture in the soil. And feeding, they're pretty easy. They do like a little bit of extra nitrogen, but you should find that if you use a general fruiting and flowering blend, that will give them everything they need for healthy plants and to start that fruiting off. How long until they fruit? Well, plants need to be around 18 to 24 months old. So if you're buying new plants, it does pay to go for more advanced ones. If you want to grow your own plants, there's three main ways starting with this. Take the crown off a ripe fruit, leaving a centimetre or two of flesh around the top. Put it in a warm spot for a day or two to heal. You can plant them in the ground, but don't bury them. Just give them enough coverage with soil or mulch to give them some support while those roots are establishing. Personally, I like to start mine in little pots. I find it best to fill a pot with quality potting mix just to the height where the bottom leaves can rest on the edge of the pot for support and the crown is slightly pushed into the mix. Then just leave them somewhere nice and warm. Don't overwater, and you'll know when they have rooted when the bottom leaves die back and the new leaves start shooting from the centre. If you have established plants, you can take slips. These are the ones that shoot sideways from under the fruit. Or you can take suckers, often called pups, that grow from the base of the plant. Either of these can be planted straight away. When I put these slips or suckers in, I like to temporarily support them with a bent wire stake, just until their roots get established. Once the plant fruits, the original plant will die back and that's when you start to get pups and slips. Now, if you just want to grow a big clump of pineapple plants, then leave it in place and let it do its thing. But if you want new plants to spread around the garden, put in pots, give to friends, then what you need to do is trim off those slips and pups. But do remember, if you want to keep growing a plant in the same spot, you'll have to leave at least one of them still attached to that original plant as it's dying back. Some interesting facts about the fruit itself. Did you know that this is actually not a single fruit? It's technically what's called a composite fruit. It's lots and lots of little fruits joined together. A pineapple has masses of tiny flowers. Each flower then forms a fruit. As they develop, these fruits fuse together, giving the appearance of being one big fruit. Look at the ripe fruit and these little pentagons, they are the outlines of the individual fruits and these little spiky bits on the outside are the remains of the flowers. If you do manage to get your pineapple plants to fruit, well done. You'll want to pick them though when they're ripe and delicious. And to do that, you need to look for the color, wait until it's nice and strong, give them a tap. They should just feel a little bit drummy and then put your head down close and have a sniff and you should be able to smell that beautiful pineapple smell coming out through the skin. Then they're ready to cut straight off. Pineapples, a pretty funky garden or potted plant that's easy to grow with potentially delicious rewards.